Oh. Oh. oh, that's what I think of you. At least one Maple Leafs fan has had enough, burning his Austin Matthews jersey after the Buds were eliminated from the playoffs by the Montreal Canadiens. Turns Oof. out those jerseys are very flammable. Apparently. Do that. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, uh, Richard Southern, of course, joins us uh, once again. And Richard, the Leafs have choked in the first round once again, and everyone seems to be piling on today. I don't like this. You know, if we won, we would be, I think, very gracious mm -hmm. to everyone else. OK, so I don't really like this, but I want to show you what Ottawa Public Health tweeted this morning. They said, uh, on, quote, unlike the Leafs, COVID is still active. Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. OK, very funny. <laughs> uh, even Erica Toronto's former deputy mayor piling on Norm Kelly tweeting, quote, at least the golf courses are now open. OK, very funny. Very funny, Norm. Again, we would not be like that if we won. We would be very really? nice Really? Do you everyone. think so? OK. Of course, we're very nice. <laughs> Toronto the good. Toronto the good. Come on. OK, and Leafs fans have gone through this many times before, but it always helps to get a refresher on how to deal with all those emotions, Richard. Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, like you were, probably a lot of people were feeling angry uh, mm -hmm. at this, you know, upset, wondering why I keep going back to the Leafs after they, they keep hurting us yeah, like this, no. Erica. So I said, let's sit down with a clinical psychologist and talk things out. And a lot came off my chest. You came up, Erica. Take a look. This is what she had to say. I know it's not the most important thing in the world. We're just talking about a sports team. But I'm really hurting. Is that normal? And what should I do about it? Absolutely, it's normal. Sports are such an important part of our life. It gives us a sense of community, a sense of hope, something to look forward to. In particular, right now, because of COVID, we are particularly searching for something that will bring back some happiness and um, hope in our life. Is anger an okay emotion here, doctor? I say all emotions are okay. Uh, some people feel sad, some people feel hurt, some people feel angry. Different people have different feelings. The most important thing is to allow oneself to feel those feelings and to understand what they mean and what they say uh, to us about what are they telling us about what it is that we need right now. Fantastic advice here. Uh, last question before I go. My co-host on City News, Erica, she has to put up with me. I'm kind of a tough guy to work with. I talk a lot of, about a lot of crazy stuff on the air. Do you have any advice for Erica how she can best put up with kind of a, a crazy wild card like myself? I think it's acknowledging that you guys, you probably will complement each other quite a bit. It's good to have two different types of energies as well. Um, somebody who's really outspoken, energetic, talking, another person who's listening. It's a nice balance. She's yeah. so very kind. Well, I thank you don't very you feel, much. Don't you feel better? And I feel so much better now. I, I really do. I think we need to work through these emotions. It's like those relationships, you know, it's, it's a downturn yeah. now, but we're going to go back. We're going to go back to them. Of course, there, we there have really to. really is next year. We're going to get them yes. next year, Erica. Yes, there's always next so year. Good. All right. And okay. we'll talk to you again tomorrow, Richard. Thank you. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good one.